could be the topic is total pressure if fluid is below the curved surface. So same as above the curved surface, the analysis is components method. For a horizontal component, consider the projected two-dimensional surface. However, for vertical component, consider the weight of the imaginary fluid above the surface. So for the horizontal component, F sub H, consider the two-dimensional projected surface. For homogeneous fluid, F sub H is equal to gamma times H bar times A. While for layers of fluids, F sub H is equal to bar P times A, where gamma is the unit weight of, of fluid, H bar is the vertical distance from center of gravity to free liquid surface. And A is the area of the projected surface. And for our P bar, it is the sum of pressures until the center of gravity. For location of F sub H represented with Y sub P, from the figure, Y sub P is equal to H bar plus E, where E is equal to I all over A times H bar of the projected surface. So for vertical component F sub V, consider the weight of imaginary fluid above the surface. Thus, for the total weight F sub V, it is equal to gamma times V sub I, where gamma is the unit weight of the fluid, while V sub I is the imaginary volume of the fluid above the surface. That is in line with the free liquid surface. For the location X, consider the centroid of the imaginary fluid above the curved surface. So if the area is complex, then apply moment area method. Take note that for location of either F sub H or F sub V, you may consider any point of reference and apply geometry to determine the distances. Next is for the total force or pressure. The resultant force F, consider the force triangle and apply Pythagorean theorem. Therefore, F is the root of the sum of the squares of horizontal and vertical components. And for the direction or angle theta, theta is the arctan or inverse tangent of the F all over V over F sub H. Note that it is better to present the angle theta with respect to the horizontal. So let's take our sample problem. Problem 3 in page 53. So the corner plate of the hull of a ship, A sub B in the figure, is curved on the arc of a circle with a 5 feet radius. With submersion in seawater, as shown, compute for 1 foot length perpendicular to the sketch, the amount and location of the horizontal and vertical components of the total pressure on A. B. For the horizontal component F sub H, consider the projected surface. F sub H is equal to gamma of C water times H bar times A for homogeneous fluid. So substitute gamma of C water as 64 pounds per cubic foot, H bar as 11.5 feet, an area of projected surface, 1 foot by 5 feet. Therefore, F sub H is equal to 3,680 pounds. Next is the location from point A. Note that you may consider any point for the location. For this sample, we will be using Y sub P as equal to 2.5 feet plus E. Again, this is from point A. E. For eccentricity E, E is equal to I, that is 1 all over 12, times B times H raised to 3 over 
the product of A and H bar. Substitute B as 1 foot, H as 5 feet, and H bar as 11.5 feet. Thus, E is equal to 0 0.181 foot. Substitute in Y sub P, the location from E is 2.681 feet. For vertical component, F sub B is the weight of the imaginary fluid above the surface, where F sub V is equal to gamma times V sub I, or the imaginary volume. So, but the volume is complex. Thus, consider component shapes, one rectangle and one quarter circle. Substitute gamma of seawater as 64 pounds per cubic foot. For the volume, the imaginary area one is the area of a rectangle that is 5 by 9 feet. Plus the imaginary area two, that is the area of quarter circle is pi times the radius 5 feet raised to 2, then divided by 4. And will be multiplied with the length that is 1 foot. The value of F sub B is equal to 4,136.637 pounds. That is upward. Next is... For the location from point B, represented by X, since the figure is composed of complex shape, then apply moment area, which is the total area or A sub T multiplied with the imaginary uh, X, that is X sub I, which is equal to X, is equal to the sum of the, or the summation of the sum of the product of uh, a sub i, or the individual area, multiplied with the centroid distance with respect to the reference point or reference line. So rearrange and substitute the imaginary area 1 is the area of the rectangle that is 5 by 9 feet times moment arm of this rectangular surface. Again, we have centroid of the rectangle, which is the width that is 5 feet divided by 2. Plus, next is the imaginary area of shape number 2, that is quarter of a circle, which is pi times the radius 5 feet raised to 2 over 4. Multiply to the moment arm with respect to point B, that is the centroid of quarter circle which is 4 times r, that is 5 feet over 3 pi. Then divide the sum product with the total area. Thus, x is equal to 2.385 feet. Again, this is from point B. So for the resultant force, that is F, consider the force triangle. For F, use Pythagorean theorem. Thus, the root of the sum of the squares is 5,536.620 pounds, sloping up to the left with an angle theta and the angle with respect to the horizontal in, is inverse tangent of F sub V over F sub H. Substitute values the Inclination is 48.343 degrees. Okay, that's it for the topic total pressure if the fluid is below the curved surface. Take care and God bless.